Colleges across the nation are reevaluating no loan tuition policies as endowment losses escalate. Pomona College, located in Claremont, California, decided to expand its no loan program back in December of 2007. That's back when endowments were up. The school's endowment investment has since fallen 21 percent, pushing the cost of its expanded no loan policy to 2.4 million annually. Will there be an impact on admissions? Bruce Pock is dean of admissions at Pomona College. He joins us now from our Los Angeles newsroom. Dean Pock, welcome to Bloomberg News. Good, good afternoon. Sir, how is this going to affect admissions at Pomona? Well, so far we've seen no negative signs whatsoever. I think pretty much every college or university in the United States is in the midst of some sort of a budget juggle. Uh, and there are different considerations that students may be bringing to their examination of colleges, but every indication in our shop is that visitor traffic is up and inquiries are up. So I think students are just looking carefully and perhaps more widely than may have been the case. Dean Pog, what might those considerations be? Is it to be a little bit more economical with your college education? I think it, in part it is, but I think uh, there's also at, at, in, at colleges and universities at, at our level of selectivity a great examination of just what is the bang for the buck, what is available, what is the classroom experience like in more detail rather than just how many get in. And I think students are looking carefully and, and more closely at, at the overall experience and not just, you know, how can I, how can I cut costs the most. Uh, Dean, in the year before the expansion, about 10 percent of students qualify for loan-free financial packages. Now, all Correct. students who qualify for financial aid, that's about 54 percent of Pomona's 1,530 students receive loan-free awards. Is that a strain on your system? Well, it's, it's certainly, no, it's not a strain. It's a little bit of a rejuggling of priorities, and I'm really proud to be at a place where the faculty have committed to this and the trustees have just unabashedly committed to this. They're quite serious about the access side of the formula. Uh, Dean, about those endowments, about the, that precipitous fall of the endowments, this is something that unfortunately we've been hearing a lot about at colleges and universities across the nation. Can you give us more of a, of a sense of how this has affected Pomona? Well, it, it has led us to take a look at what we really need versus what we might have done in terms of want over the, the last several years. It has led to frozen salaries for faculty and staff. Uh, we have trimmed several million dollars out of our operating budget. Uh, we have recommitted to the financial aid side of the equation. Uh, we're looking ahead and we've had some staff retirements and, and some early retirements that have been offered to tighten up the budget and we're, we're looking program by program at, again, what do we need versus what would just be nice to have at this point. We're also hearing reports that some institutes of higher learning are actually closing admissions for this school year. Well, yes, in the University of California and the California state system, that is true. They just have no further capacity. They were feeling an overflow, and they are cutting, as I understand it, a quite a substantial number of course offerings and increasing class sizes. So uh, that's going to put a squeeze and will probably put even more pressure on community college system. Did you have um, some concerns about high schools as well? Tell us what those concerns are. I do have those concerns. I, I'm really quite... Uh, curious about how this is playing out in public high school budget cuts because in California that's certainly a very very serious problem and class sizes are swelling unbelievably guidance counselors and college counselors are being cut uh, courses with 40 and 50 students are going to be taught differently and their work evaluated 